A near win as last year, but a historical treat for the people of East New Britain province as they witnessed the 2013 Prime Minister's 13 match at the Colourbond Oval. Heavy rain fell, but that didn't dampen the spirits of the home crowd. The PNG Prime Minister's 13 were left with a 50 to 10 score line at full time in front of a capacity crowd. The graveyard was the place to be on a fine Sunday afternoon in the East New Britain capital, Kokopo. Rugby league enthusiasts flocked the Colourbone Oval to secure a seat before the big clash between the PNG and Australian Prime Ministers 13. For many, it was a chance of a lifetime to catch a glimpse of their NRL heroes in real life. The home team were cheered on to centre field, escorted by schoolboys. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill made sure he didn't miss the occasion as he was embraced by executives of PNG RFL, Sports Minister Justin Tichenko and East New Britain Governor Ermas Tobining Jr. while the national anthem for both countries sounded. An anxious countdown to kick off and the Prime Minister did the honours. Just two minutes into the match, saw a try to the Australians. Jared Hayne was in full flight, backed up well by Brent Tate to go all the way to a try. <laughs> Conversion successful, gave the PNG side a wake-up call Minutes after, followed another try to the bigger and faster Australians. This year's Prime Minister's 13 match is the final challenge that the PNG Kumuls will have in order to measure up to where the team is just three weeks out of the World Cup. NRL is by far the best league competition in the world and a real assessment can be drawn from PNG's performance over the weekend. 18 nil in the opening minutes of the match, left a lot more to be desired from the home side. PNG showed some flair through Paul Eiton to Roger Laka to find Israel Eliab out wide to register the first try of the match. It wasn't until late in the match that Josiah Abavu topped it off to give PNG 10 points at full time. The Prime Minister's 13 match performance by the PNG side showed that the vital services of overseas based players is needed to take on world-class rugby league playing nations. While local talent continues to blossom on the domestic front, PNG has only three weeks to get the combination right before hitting the World Cup stage. Sophie Yeruso, Trukai Sports.